able to calculating the struts, ties, tie beam, and the uh, king post, which we, we usually use the triangle that we we I have drawn. You can see it on the screen whereby h1 is the length of the rafter, h2 is the length of the tie, h3 the length of the struts, and h4 the length of the king post. So h1, we shall start with calculating for h1. h1, the length of the rafters will be equal to cos 23. Cos 23, you know, so katoa. So katoa. Ka. Adjacent of a hypotenuse. We have the adjacent of the triangle. We want to find the hypotenuse. And the adjacent for uh, finding H1, if you can see the triangle that is formed using the 23 degrees, the biggest triangle we have, its base is 3300. Where is 3300 coming from? The 3300 is the span of the truss, half the span of the truss, whereby we took the inner dimensions, which was uh, 2800 plus 200 for the, uh, for the walls. We took, uh, we took 2800 plus 200 for the wall and 300 for the eaves. So we got that is three. So to get the hypotenuse of that triangle, we shall use adjacent of a hypotenuse. Hypotenuse is H1. So uh, H1 is equal to 3300 divided by cos 23. We get 3.585 meters. That is the length of the rafters. All rafters will measure 3.585. We go to H2. H2 is the length of the tie. The length of the tie, H2, we have 23 degrees the pitch and 1400 the adjacent. So what shall we use? Opposite of a adjacent, that is tan. 23 degrees is equal to uh, H2 over 1400. So H2 will be equal to 0 0.594 meters. We go to H3. H3 is the hypotenuse for the triangle, which is formed by a height of H2 and a pitch of 23. So we shall say, Cos 23 is equal to 1400 adjacent over hypotenuse H3. So H3 shall be equal to 1.5 1 meters. We go to H4. H4 is the king post. We have the triangle uh, which is formed by the 23 degrees pitch and 28 degrees base. So we shall take opposite of adjacent, that is tan, 23 is equal to opposite of adjacent. Opposite is H4, adjacent is 2800, so it shall be equal to 1.189 meters. Good, so I hope that is clear.